Here we go, first fishing trip of the year. <clears throat> I've got two different setups going. This one I got a high-low rig, just a standard one that I tied. And this one I have the Fish and OC Deadly Double in Chartreuse. So I'm gonna try that. We're gonna put uh, some gulp on there and see if there's any flounder over here. Uh, it's mid-March, so just a couple days away from spring. St. Patrick's Day was this past weekend. Uh, weather's been absolutely crap. As you can see, you can't even can't even really see West Ocean City over there. It's all fog. So it's just been a ton of rain. Uh, this morning, it, the fog was so bad, the kids had an hour delay in school. Uh, this past weekend for St. Patrick's Day, Ashley ran on the, the Boardwalk 5K. And um, I mean, it was pouring rain. So, but there were still quite a bit of people there, which I was kind of shocked about. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been pretty bad. So... Uh, we're gonna try to fish for a little bit see if there's anything biting out here or if anything is here uh, I tried to go out on the beach uh, What like two I think about like two weeks ago see if anything's biting There's a lot of warm water coming up from the Carolinas, so I didn't get any bites It was pouring rain then too, which the weather wasn't even calling for it. So uh, Yeah, I guess we'll we'll see what happens. So hope for the best I guess right? Oh yeah, uh, location. I'm on 9th Street in Ocean City. It's the public, uh, public f fishing pier. It's right here. These fish in OC, the deadly doubles, they're not really meant to cast. It's more of a drifting from a boat, but um, I do have pretty good luck casting them. I just can't use them too much uh, because they'll start getting kind of frayed and tangled. So um, I, you do go through them a lot more if you try to cast. For the ocean, I've even used them out there, um, but you just gotta be careful with the waves. The waves will kind of thrash them around a little bit and it, it'll get it all tangled up and knotted and all that. So and just be careful with it, but you can use it out there. I've caught flounder out there before big ones uh, with this with the same setup. I have caught flounder here too. Usually this early in the year they start off in the thoroughfare, which is over that way, uh, where the water is a, a little bit more shallow, it's warmer. But I'll give it a shot over here for now. You can see the action in the water, how it moves, the blade going through like that. These work really, really, really well. If you're into flounder fishing, I really highly suggest you get some. I'll put a link down below to uh, the website where you can buy them. If you're not local, if you, uh, if you are in the area, they're in all the major tackle shops. That, that about does it. I fished for about an hour. Uh, no bites, nothing at all. They didn't even touch the bait, so. Uh, we were getting little hits on minnows this morning on the inlet when we were fishing for tog, seeing if anything was down there. The water temps, it says it's 54, but uh, who knows? It could still be a little bit too cold for them. So, uh, hey, at least we tried. But uh, in the meantime, I'll do a caught and cook. It's a flounder that I got last year. I just froze the fillets and uh, we'll cook it up and see how it tastes. That's a good one. That's definitely a keeper. Yes, it is. All right, there we go. Flounder number two. Here's what I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna do some fried flounder with this Florida seasoning, uh, it's uh, or, uh, fish fry. I saw this on Ace videos. He did a catch and cook with this and he said it was the best smelling fish fry that he's ever, he's ever seen. So we're gonna try it. Uh, I'm gonna cut a little hole and smell it and see how it is. Ooh, that does smell pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely, it says it's seasoned, but um, 
Yeah, it's you can definitely smell the seasoning. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put that right there uh, with my flounder right here. I uh, vacuum seal everything. And then I'm gonna do crab balls too. Since I already have the, the fry going for the flounder, I'm gonna do crab balls. Uh, this was also vacuum sealed. I'm just going through now and just trying to pick out pretty much any shells that might still be in here uh, before I make the crab balls. So I'll do that for a minute and then we're gonna start getting everything going. So the one that's gonna take the longest to make is actually the crab balls, so I'll do those first. Uh, pretty much all I'm doing is putting in uh, the crab, breadcrumbs, and egg yolk, and some plain, uh, yeah, plain breadcrumbs, tartar sauce, the crab, and an egg yolk. I'll probably put a little bit more Old Bay in there too. Uh, the tartar sauce is pretty easy. It's I just make it myself. Yeah, uh, it's pretty much just uh, mayonnaise, dill relish, Worcestershire sauce, and garlic powder, and then I always add some Old Bay to it just because I like Old Bay. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the crab in. Make sure, last checks, make sure I got everything out. Basically, when I make these, I'm just looking for consistency. I normally don't fry them, I broil them. But uh, in this case, since I've already got the flounder in the, in the fry, I might as well give it a shot. So the consistency that I'm trying to go for is more of a uh, it's like a, like a binding, just like a crab cake, pretty much. Get that. Just want it kind of bound together so that it kind of all sticks. But I don't want to put too much filler in there, like breadcrumbs and all that, because I want the crab to stand out. Some people put mayonnaise. I, I use tartar sauce. I don't know why, I kind of like that more. And some more old baby. Give this a mix. Try to find the consistency I'm looking for. I know people make like fish cakes and things like that. Um, for this, I'm again, I'm just trying to get it so that it, it kind of, it binds together but you can still see all the crab in there. So when I make my little balls, I don't, I don't want it to be all filler. So it feels pretty good. Yeah, I like it. All right, I'm gonna get the fry going, the oil, get the pan all heated up, and do the flounder. So while the oil's going, I got my flounder fillets right here. I'm just patting them dry. Trying to get as much of the water out as I can. Anything that was in there when it was vacuum sealed, so. It smells really good. I got some big fillets off of it too. I mean, that's a, it's a good chunk of flounder right there. So I think what I'm gonna do, just to make it a little bit easier and less messy, I'm gonna put the flounder in the bag, put the fish fry in the bag, and I think I'm, I'm gonna add some Old Bay to it. Yeah, I'm gonna add some Old Bay to it. Perfect. So Florida mixed with Maryland, I guess. You want a good shake? coated nice and good. Oh yeah, the fish fry, I got it on Amazon. It came in a two pack. Um, it, it wasn't too overpriced. I can't remember how much I paid. It wasn't really that much, but yeah, that's where I got it from. I think Ace got his probably when he was down there fishing or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, it, it wasn't too terribly overpriced at all. All right, check the oil real quick. Oh yeah, that was ready to go. 
Oh, this smells good. Put the huge one in here. It really shouldn't take too long to cook. Probably just like two minutes on each side. Flaky white meat. That looks good. I can't wait to try it. Don't let the big one go for a little bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to start making these little crab bowls. All right, here we go. Got my flounder, my crab ball, tartar sauce. I don't have paper plates. I notice everybody else has paper plates when they do these catch and cooks. I have glass. Sorry, no paper. So we're going to dig right in. Actually, I'm not going to use a fork. I'm just going to pick it up and eat it. That's really good. Nut seasoning is, is really good. That fish fry. Yeah. Yeah, he was right about that. It is really good. Yep. And the crab ball. Dunk it in here. The crab ball, they're always really good. I love it. Really good. It's real fluffy in the middle. It's not all fried and dried out and all nasty, but it is really good. Don't cook it too long because it will dry out. And this, I think I cooked it a little bit too long and it is kind of dry, but it still is really good. So I appreciate you watching and um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. The weather's supposed to be warming up pretty quick. It was like 70 yesterday. I think it's close to 70 today. So um, hopefully the fishing will get started and we'll make some more videos. So, all right, I'll see you next time. Thanks.